ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Big 12 basketball game between the Colorado Buffaloes and the number one ranked Iowa State Cyclones. Your star watch is Bob Marshall and Garth Robinson. Colorado with a 12 and 7 record and 2 and 4 in Big 12. Iowa State has a 19 and 1 record and 6 and 0 in the Big 12. And here we go with the tip off live from Hilton Coliseum. And the tip is up and Iowa State controls it. Iowa State is looking to go to 20 wins on the season and remain undefeated at home. The three-pointer there by Brian York is up and no good. Iowa State in their last game came out with a 72-58 win over the Missouri Tigers. Iowa State had a very huge lead, about 20 points in that game, but then Missouri though came back and definitely made it very close Closer than what the Iowa State fans wanted, especially with how Missouri is playing basketball this season. Robinson with it, nice job in the paint. Iowa State can't find anything to go here. That's Brian York, downtown three is good. Brian York from way downtown. Gets the scoring first for the game. Nice pass out, stolen basketball. Colorado keeps it. Bill Anthony on the defense. Iowa State at home has 9-0. They can make it 10-0 here today. With a win, of course, over the Buffaloes. Layup, up and good. Count it. Currently being played in a half-court style of offense. Iowa State plays up. Oh, hey. oh you left him wide open. Three. Allen misses a three, even though he was wide open. I was saying, though, first, Colorado is playing in a half-court style tempo. Iowa State plays in the up-tempo, but Iowa State knows how to play in the balanced and the half-court as well, if needed. Driving to the paint. Number 34 gets a layup to go in. And Colorado has a one-point lead over the Cyclones. Nice ball movement by Iowa State. Iowa State knows how to definitely. Oh, that's the turnover. Goes straight to number 34. Iowa State, though, does know how to definitely control the ball movement. Definitely know how to pass it on, you know, through everything. And definitely know how to find the open man for some shots. That is stripped away Brian, by Garth Robinson. Brian York has it. So very low scoring first half already. With just a few minutes have gone by. Normally Iowa State is up by a few points already. That ball is kept in bounds after the steal by Colorado. And the Buffaloes have it. It's stolen away by James Ellen. Over to Garth Robinson. And a pass to Garth Robinson got deflected and stolen by Colorado. Turnovers are really hitting both teams currently right now. That both teams need to actually think about what they are doing for passing wise. That's a three. Way off the rim. Lay up. Back up and count it. The Buffaloes have a 6-3 lead over the Cyclones right now. I would say it spends for us for over two minutes. Brian York ties it up. York has been the only player on the Cyclones team tonight to have scored points. Six points for Brian York. He was near almost a backcourt violation there. Up. And the paint, no good on the shot. Franklin grabs the beautiful rebound. Ball is being moved in to Robinson. Shot up and good, count it. And the paint for two. 
The Cyclones now have a two-point lead over the Colorado Buffaloes. Shot up and no good. Franklin brings it down. It looked like it was going to go in though, but that ball did not go in. Robinson has it. He's going to pass it out. Nope. He's going to go up with it. But it does not count. Bob Marshall draws the foul, so two shots is coming up for Garth Robinson. Robinson is at the line for two shots here tonight. The first one is up and good. One more shot for Robinson to make it a four point ball game. No, off the front iron. The crowd in Hilton is trying to rattle the Buffaloes. Shot up, foul, and count the bucket. So one shot will be coming up for the Buffaloes to tie the game up. At the line for one is going to be Nathan McCall. Nathan McCall, shot up. And it's a tied ball game inside Hilton Coliseum. Nine to nine. And no, not stolen away. Okay. Sam Ware grabbed it after the deflection that looked like it was going to be stolen. Allen, Allen, try to drive around everyone. Nice hit. And James Allen gets two points in the paint. It's 11 to 9. Cyclones in front. Colorado moving it around. Trying to find the open man just like Iowa State does. In the paint. Shot is up and it counts and we are still tied up. This game, folks, has Iowa State by a favorite by a whole bunch of points. But... Colorado is very keeping this close. McGill draws the foul. So I think two shots will be coming up for Bill Anthony. Anthony, yes, he is at the line for two. The first free throw is up and good. One more shot for Bill Anthony. It's good. And the Cyclones have a two point lead, 13 to 11. We are at the halfway mark of the first half. Colorado in the paint. Oh, nice fake. That shot does not hit, though. Robinson, good job at grabbing the rebound. In the paint. Where? Can he get it up and in? No, he cannot. Nice rebound by Colorado there. The rebounds are kind of even on both sides of the basketball here tonight. Trying to drive in the paint. Fade away. Jumper. Good. And we are tied up again. This has been a very low scoring, of course, ball game so far. And definitely really has been ball controlled by both schools. And that three by Anthony is off the mark. We stay tied up. Oh, nice Late. Oh, yes, I does count. Marshall has six points for the Buffaloes here tonight after that nice spinorama to get a layup. Allen, downtown. No. Anthony gets it blocked from him.
the Cyclones definitely need to get something to go here very shortly. The momentum is switching over to Colorado. That's a fadeaway three, and that is good. And that ball is out of bounds on Iowa State Colorado basketball. There's a look of your big 12 standings. The ball is in on the Buffaloes. Iowa State with five turnovers, only to two for Colorado. Colorado has an 18-3 lead. Blocked on Franklin and Brian York saves it. And the Cyclones are finally on the board, only down by two, 18 to 16. Shot, no good. Nice rebound by Bill Anthony. Iowa State can tie it or take a lead with a bucket. They're going to go for the lead by Tyson Richards. That's good. Iowa State with a 19-18 lead over the Buffaloes. Nice ball went in the paint. Oh, nice fake. And he dunks it in, and the Buffaloes get a one-point lead right back. It's 20-19. Tyson rimmed in and out on Tyson Richards. Wow, you hate to see that. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Oh, he tried to drive into the paint. He was thinking about it. Screen set up. Iowa State's right there to stop that screen. That screen was going to go nowhere. Three-pointer. Shot clock expiring. No good from three. Bill Anthony with it. Over to Franklin. Franklin double-teamed. He's going to pass it out to another. The Brian York for downtown. Three miss. Franklin. Up and in. Count it. Iowa State with a one-point lead. 21-20, driving it out, and the paint is blocked by Franklin. Tyson Richards keeps it in and stays with Colorado. One minute until halftime. The Fado jumper, no good. Grabbed by Brian York. Was tipped. But, oh wait, that's a three. Brian York misses a three. Iowa State is shooting not that well here today, but the game is very close. Double team, very bad angle. They literally pushed him out. Driving in the paint, three bucket. No good by the Buffalo. Shot clock is turned off. Town, no. Oh, Sam Ware kept it in. Good job. That's a Tyson Richards three. Airballed it. Oh my goodness, Tyson Richards airballed that three. That is a horrible shot. Colorado with the final shot of the first half. It's up. No good. And the Cyclones have a 21 to 20 lead going into halftime. That second half is coming up next.
after today's game, we take a look at your big 12 conference standings, as well as any other things that we need to take a look at. I would say someone should be 31% from three tonight. And here we go with the second half of action, where Colorado gets the basketball. And away we go. Brian York with six points, Marshall with six points, McGill with three rebounds, Franklin with four. Jobman with two assists, Anthony with two assists. Very low, low scoring first half here, folks. Only 21 to 20 was your score. Colorado kept it very close. Allen strips it. Franklin. Oh, my lord. Now that is one that we have to take a look at. Literally, you start off the second half with that. That is a big boy stunk. Oh my gosh, look at that face. That is big time bucket by Franklin. It's a three point lead by Iowa State. Oh, jived up in the layup, count it. Franklin has it on the alley-oop. That did not work out. York, no good from three. And the basketball goes to Colorado. Drives up. Oh my God, what a block. Holy crap, what a block. Shot is up and counted, and the Colorado has a one-point lead. Robinson passes it in. Oh, you left Allen wide open. You can never leave James Allen wide open like that. He knocks down a three. Layup, does not count, offensive rebound, put up and it's good, and it's a tied ball game. 26-26, this game is going to go, maybe down to the wire. Allen, too strong, Franklin, fouled on the play by Nathan McCall. Two shots coming up for Mr. Jason Franklin. The crowd is being quiet here in Hilton Coliseum. First one does go down. One more shot for Mr. Jason Franklin. Yes, that's good as well. The Cyclones with a two point lead. 28 26. It's definitely been the tempo is what's been keeping this game very low scoring because Colorado plays in the half court style of tempo. I also plays in the up tempo. Tied ball game again. The Cyclones and the Buffaloes. Ellen from way downtown. Count it. Iowa State up by three points is 31-28. You see how Colorado is, control, is moving the ball around? They are playing in the up top of there using the shot clock. Foul on Garth Robinson. Bucket does not count. But Colorado and Richard Towns. 
The same to line, 4 2. First one's no good. Second shot up and count that one. Ball is moved in to Bill Anthony over to Franklin. Brian York has it. Brian York was double teamed. He got it loose and stolen away. And Colorado has it. Brian York got the ball stripped from him after he was trying to find a goal. I think go back to Franklin with the pass. And then Franklin got it, but then Franklin threw it in and it went straight to Colorado. Fade away, jumper good. It's a tied ball game again. Balanced tempo is being played. No, Franklin. Whoa, never mind. Franklin from three. The big guy made a huge bucket. 34 31 Cyclones up front. Three buckle. Allen draws the foul. Three shots. Coming up for Solomon. Shaman. Solomon with his first shot is up and no good. Solomon has two more shots. It is up and no good. One more now for Solomon Joman. No good. He misses all three. Huge momentum switch. The Cyclones have it. Anthony downtown pound. Three ball, Bill Anthony. The Cyclones with possibly their largest lead of the night. 37 to 31. Driving in the paint. Blocked. Brian York has it. Brian York over to Allen. No foul. Allen. Bucket is no good. Rebounded by the Buffaloes. The crowd is wants the Cyclone power. Up and no good. Allen brings it down. Now this, with these misses, this is where the Iowa State has to take charge. Anthony misses a three. If you're Iowa State, with Colorado missing these shots, you have to take advantage. In the paint, fadeaway jumper, count it. 37-33. Anthony is fouled. Bucket does not count. Here's your star. Watch update. At the line for two is going to be Bill Anthony. This is his last year at Iowa State. First one is good. One more shot for Bill Anthony to make it a six point ball game. It's good, 39-33. Colorado moving it around in the paint. Blocked. Oh, they got it right back. Up and no good. Up and no. Halfway through the second half. Robinson grabbed that rebound. Sam Ware called for it. Oh, a nice pass out. Ware gets it blocked. Wait a minute. Robinson downtown. No good. What a huge momentum switches happening right now. A lot of them. 
Oh, a nice shot up and good. Count it. It's 39-35. Anthony to Tyson Richards. Downtown three, good by Tyson Richards. Iowa State is shooting very low uh, percentage-wise today, but they're at least getting their shots to go in. Oh, that's it. Uh, not in the paint, but that's on the baseline. It's up and good. 42 to 37. Who wants this game more? Colorado or Iowa State Franklin. No, I mean my apologies. Garth for two on the hook. Oh, he split the defense a little bit. Nice job by Colorado. In the paint. Fade away blocked. Robinson has it. Robinson, speed. No, he's going to pass it out to Richards. Back to Robinson. What's the Cyclones doing here? Oh, he's wide open. Tyson Richards give Iowa State a 10 point lead. Iowa State is now coming on glued. They're like, we need to hold our rating. We need to keep home court going. Oh, an easy dunk by the Buffaloes by McGill. Richards wants it again, downtown. Misses at three. Sam Ware almost had a nice offensive rebound. Layup. Count it. And Colorado is coming back. It's 47-41. The crowd has been on their feet ever since the start of this game. And they are not going to sit down until the final buzzer sounds. Shot up. No good. Rebounded by Robinson. Over to Richards. Anthony cannot hit a three. Offensive rebound by Iowa State. Sam Ware. That's a two by Anthony. It's no good. What's going on with the Cyclones? I think it's time for some substitutions. Foul on the play. Bucket does not count. Bill Anthony draws the foul. At the line for two is Solomon Schultman. Up and good. Last free throw. Up and good. It's a 47-43 game. Three, Allen, no. Rebounded by Torres. Roshan Sandin has it over to back to Allen for another three. That time is good by James Allen. In the paint, blocked on the play, but a foul caught on Charles Torres. Two shots coming up for the Buffaloes. At the line for two is, again, Solomon Jolman. First one, up and good. It's 50-44. Last free throw here for Solomon. Up and count it, it's 50-45. A five point ball game. Here inside Hilton Coliseum. Torres has a blocked. 
and is kept in bounce by Franklin. Franklin does not put it up and in. Clock is winding down very slowly. Foul. Solomon heading back to the line for two shots. Brian York draws the foul. First free throw up and good. Solomon can make it a three point game with a make free throw here. This is a nail biter inside Hilton Coliseum. And it's a three point ball game. And Brian York keeps it in. Allen, come on. Yes, splashes it in for three. The crowd's going bananas. Double team, stolen away. Allen has it. It's fouled. And two shots coming up for James Allen. Jobman draws the foul. First one by Allen is good. 54-47. That one is actually no good on Allen. One minute remaining in the game. Get on your feet, Cyclone fans. Turn over Colorado. Foul on Ray Howard. Now it's just the moment times of Halloween. Anthony is fouled and he's going to the line for three. Three shots coming up for Bill Anthony. First one is good. Second one is good. One more for Anthony. He can make it a 10 point ball game. No good, he is only a nine point game. Colorado's not taking a timeout. Timeout, Colorado. And we're gonna take this intermission timeout with Colorado as well. As this game is coming down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the game summary. Iowa State 56, Colorado 47. Six fouls for Iowa State, seven for Colorado. Six timeouts for Iowa State, five for Colorado. Jobin with 17 points, Towns with six rebounds, all for Colorado. Anthony with six assists. Definitely, definitely, definitely a very close ball game. Here in Hilton Coliseum. I don't think the Iowa State fans saw this at all. And now we're back into the action. And here we go after the timeout by Colorado. 41.6 remain. Three ball. It hits. Allen. Franklin. Yes. Ice in his veins. Timeout, Colorado. Another Colorado timeout.
Iowa State. I don't think they expected this kind of Colorado team. The last time these two teams actually played each other, of course, was in Boulder, Colorado. Well, in Boulder, and even in Boulder, Colorado, Colorado gave Iowa State a ball game. Iowa State only won 56 to 51. So, no matter what, Colorado is giving Iowa State a great ball games at all times. And now we are back into the game. 29.2 remaining. Shot clock is turned off. Fade away. Jumper. No. Is that it? Colorado's not going to foul? That is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Cyclones are going to win the 20th straight game over Colorado. 58 to 50. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Cyclones are victorious again. Players of the game, Solomon Jumpman and Bill Anthony. That was the last shot of the game right there by Jason Franklin. What a basketball game today, ladies and gentlemen. What a good game. The Cyclones get the win again over the Colorado Buffaloes, 58-50. to And now we go to the next game. And our next basketball game is on the road to take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, who are ranked number 12 in the nation. This is going to be a very good game, ladies and gentlemen. They are the sixth toughest place to play. Their arena is always tough to play in for Oklahoma State standards. Let's go take a look at the conference standings. Your conference standings are here as followed. Iowa State all alone in first place at 20 and 1 and 7 and 0. Oklahoma State at 17 and 4 and 7 and 1. Texas at 16 and 2 and 4 and 1. Oklahoma at 12 and 5 and 3 and 1. Baylor at 11 and 8 and 4 and 2. Texas Tech at 15 and 5 and 4 and 3. Kansas State at 14 and 6 and 3 and 4. Kansas at 14 and 4 and 2 and 3. Texas A&M at 11 and 9 and 2 and 5. Colorado at 12 and 9 and 2 and 6. Nebraska at 9 and 9 and 1 and 4. And Missouri, gosh, they are horrible. They have lost 12 straight games. And they are 5 and 17 and 0 oh and 9. The Cyclones, though, have won 20 straight games, ladies and gentlemen, which is amazing. So, that is it for Cyclone Basketball here today. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. As next time we come to you, we are in Stillwater, Oklahoma to take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. But, that is it for today. This is Cyclone Basketball signing off. I'll see you in Oklahoma.